Hi everyone, welcome to Creative Stampin' Designs. My name is Karen. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Central New Jersey. If you're hopping on, say hi, let me know where you're from. And I'm a little crooked today. Just a little bit. Make sure I was lying in the right place, but all right. Okay, I think we're straight now. All right, we are going to make a card today using the Queen Bee set. I've been playing around with this set. I wasn't sure if I really liked it, but it's really grown on me in the past couple days. Just one thing I want to remind everybody of is we have the awesome joining special going on right now. Hi, Carol. Thanks for joining. Hi, Tara. Thank you for joining. Um, you got three options. One, you can choose $175 of, per, of product for $99. It ships for free. Celebra um, it's during celebration. It ends on February 28th. Um, Stampin' Up! adds a, a um, paper pumpkin, um, a past paper pumpkin kit, along with some business supplies if you want to make this a business. You do not, there is no obligation to sell. You could just enjoy the discount for yourself. And the other two are that you can purchase either the Boho Blue, which is a 2023-2025 in color, or white mini stamp and emboss machine, uh, which is, it's a $63 value. Plus, you get $175 of product for $129. So, if you are interested in joining and becoming a part of our team, I would love to talk to you about it. It's a really great deal. Like I said, there is absolutely no obligation to sell. Um, you can just join, enjoy the discount for yourself. You get the benefits of the you know demonstrators getting to go to events. Uh, you get to preview the catalogs um, beforehand. You get to purchase beforehand. It's a win-win. All right, let's get started. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Barbara. Thank you for joining. Uh, where am I? I'm a little disoriented here. I had to bring my daughter to the train station this morning or this afternoon. She decided to take my car to school this morning. And then drive home and then catch the train for her afternoon class. And it kind of messed me up. I don't think she's going to be doing this every week. Okay, we are starting with a panel of Starry Sky, which is 8.5 by 5.5. It's scored at 2 and an eighth and 4 and a quarter. And we're just going to fold this like our Z fold card. And I didn't get my scissors out. I didn't get my phone folder out. Nothing. I wasn't. I was very unprepared. And that's. I was a minute before I was going live, and I yelled real quick. I have. I forgot about going live. I don't have anything set up. And my husband looks at me because I thought you weren't going live. I changed my mind in between. Okay. Then we have another panel, which is six and a quarter by three and three quarters. This one is also scored at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. And again, we're just going to fold it like an accordion. So we have a mountain fold and a valley fold. All right. All right. Let's start with this panel here first. Okay, I'm using my least favorite color. Because I have to. Well, I don't have to, but it's crushed curry. I, I don't like yellow. I really don't like yellow. 
but I'm making a beehive and I felt like it needed to be yellow. So I'm using the Hive 3D embossing folder. I just, like I said, I just felt like it needed to be yellow because it's a beehive and I don't know. It's just not one of my favorite colors. <laughs> I do try. I keep trying. And I'm just going to randomly stamp this. It's just a splatter with words. I don't even know what it really says. Something about a bee and a flower and bloom and life and a miracle and honey and spring. If it has to do with spring, I'm happy. But I'm just going to randomly stamp it on, on here just to give it... Just a little bit of... You're not going to see all that much of it. All right, and I am going to emboss it with the hive embossing folder. I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. I My puppy is hiding under my feet for whatever reason. Because I want to take her for a walk. Oh, because someone wants she to take her for a walk and she does not want to put her harness on. So she hides under my feet. Okay, I am lining this up. There is a, you could see the line right here, and I'm just trying to line this up just to make sure that it is straight. All right, and I will be right back. I'm just going to emboss it real quick. Oh, I like So Saffron too, Cap. Catherine. That yellow I like. It, I just don't like crushed curry. I think So Saffron's the only yellow I'm okay with. Let's just put that away. So there. That's our little beehive. And I'm just going to adhere it to the back panel here. With some liquid glue. Just get it centered. There we go. Okay, and I have a panel of the, what did I, I'm, I'm going to call it the wrong name, the Dainty Flowers DSP. This is a pack of free DSP when you place an order of $50 or more during celebration. And I'm just going to adhere that panel right there. And again, I'm using liquid glue because I need my little bit of wiggle room. Now, this panel here, let's get it the right way, we're going to center it on here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to fold this in first. <laughs> I just saw your comment, Tara, about yellow. I know you love yellow and orange and... I am just not a yellow and orange person. <laughs> Though the card you made the other day with the orange, I really did like that. Well, it was Calypso Coral, so I don't consider that really an orange. Okay, now before I adhere this down, I have two more panel that, that I'm stuck together here of the um, dainty flowers, and I just want to make sure. Yep, that's going to go right there. I just want to make sure it's going to be in the right. I have. 
the right amount of room. All right, so I'm just going to open this up, and I'm just going to put the adhesive right here, and I'm not going to let it move anywhere. And it did. Just being so careful to keep it straight. All right, I'm just going to put just a little bit right there. Just to adhere that, and it's still crooked. How am I crooked? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's what happened. I depend on my grid paper, and if I'm not straight on my grid paper, there we go. Okay. Oh, I still need that liquid glue. All right. Hopefully, we're still in a good spot here. Yep. Okay, so. Then what I'm going to do is just flip this over, and it's just so everything stays in place. And I'm just going to put the adhesive right here. And I'm going to put a little extra because it's the embossed panel. And just fold that down. And I'm going to hold it for a second. See, actually, I'm liking that the crushed curry with the starry sky. Uh, I'm still not a yellow person. <laughs> okay. Now, I have a panel. This was obviously one of these. Okay, when I did my paper share and I cut it, I had a half of one left over. So I decided it would look perfect right here. Since I only had a small area. So I'm going to adhere that piece. I love the back of this paper too. And we're going to adhere this right there. Now this piece is two inches by five and three eighths. This one was four and an eighth by five and three eighths. All the measurements, everything will be on my blog on Friday, creativestampadesigns.com, along with a link to the video. Just going to put this piece right here. And I do not remember, this piece was, I think, one inch. And I don't remember how big it is. It'll be on my blog. I promise. All the measurements will be there. Now, the reason I went with Starry Sky and Crushed Curry was it was the two colors in um, the DSP. And I have one more panel of the dainty flowers. I love this paper. I've already, this is my second pack that's opened. And we're just going to put this one right in here like that. Now you don't have to add all this DSP if you don't want to, but I liked it. All right, let's get to some of the other part now. I have a panel of basic white. I am going to stamp the B and I'm going to emboss it. I was playing around a little bit before just with black ink, with crushed curry ink, with starry sky. And then I tried the Versamark and I really, really liked the way it looked. So that's what we're going with. Just a piece of paper to put underneath because I went to the store the other day and I forgot to buy more of the little containers to put my embossing powder in. So we're just going to ink up the Queen Bee and I'm going to stamp it right here. And, oops. We're going to hope that I got perfect coverage. And we will see as soon as I put my embossing powder on it. Perfect. I'm just 
get rid of this. My little containers work so much easier than this, but like I said, I went to the store. I went for one thing, and I forgot to get a cart, and I was walking around with things in my hand, and I was not getting anything else. All right. I'm going to get the heat tool. The Stampin' Up! heat tool has two settings. One is for drying, and two is for heat setting, which is what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to heat it up on the side a little bit. I just really, wait till you see this. It, I don't know if you, anybody else has this set, but when you emboss this thing, it pops. You just want to move the heat tool just a little bit. You don't have to move it a lot, but just a little bit. You don't want to burn the embossing powder. Because it can get... It gets very dull if you heat it too much. Ask me how I know that. And if you don't heat it, then you... It's, it's dull because it's powder and it's still sticky gonna yep we're good all right and then we have the bumblebee the giant bee die so we're gonna cut this out and we're gonna hope I get this actually I'm gonna get my post-it note tape to stick on it because I am I think I am the worst die cutter. I can never get anything. Every time I get to the die cutting, go to die cut it. There we go. That should be good. All right. And I am going to bring out, I've got the little one. This is the boho blue, and I'm going to hope that it's in the camera okay. So this one here will fit this be perfectly. Okay, so you need plate number one. And then you need plate number two. Did I forget something? No, nope. plate number two. I'm going to put this in like that. And plate number two on top. And I'm not going to line them up. I'm going to leave them a little, like, uneven. It goes through a lot easier. And we're going to hope that I can... Oh, my arm isn't working, sorry. And there we go. I used, I think I had told you last week, I used this machine at my class a couple weeks ago, and it worked out perfect because everybody was just passing it around the table and using it. Nobody had to get up and go walk into the other room to die cut, or it wasn't shaking the table or anything. So, and I think that... I think that's the only thing I have to die cut. I I die cut a bunch of things before I got started because I wasn't sure. Um, way here. I wasn't sure how if my arm was going to let me do any die cutting or how much die cutting today. Okay, so we have this giant bee. Oh, and I did. Here's the one thing I did die cut from, the, I had a scrap piece of the paper. I don't have it out anymore. Um, actually, I might have it. That wasn't the one. Well, I had a scrap little piece of paper. Well, 
I cut the heart out. I don't know if you could see it. It's this tiny little heart. I didn't realize how small it was. Right here. And we're going to see if I can get this right inside here on... And it was a panel of the watercolor paper. Um, and I actually picked a spot that had the crush curry to try to get everything to coordinate. Whoops. Okay. That was a little more than I expected to come out. Didn't get it out at first, and it all came out. Just wipe a little bit of that away. I don't need that much. But I am using my tweezers to put it down because the heart is not big enough to put a um, dimensional on the back of it. Oops. There we go. Come on. Just turn it a little bit. Oh my goodness. There we go. Now it's straight. I'm not going to touch it. Give that a second to dry. You know, while we're letting the heart dry, let me do this part. So I did pre cut some of the um, the shorter oops these leaves from a panel of old olive and again I'm just gonna adhere them down just with actually I'm gonna use a glue dot I think because in the center I'm gonna put a flower that I die cut It's not going to hold like I wanted it to. Okay. We're going to put a dab of glue and hope it doesn't come out fast. There we go. Just, little, just on those leaves. And the center will get the... And I'm going to do the same thing with these. just going to put this one just right like that and then I did also die cut the flower in rich razzleberry and this one I'm going to put a mini glue dot that'll fit on the back I don't use minis too often but oh maybe it won't fit maybe it's going to be too big oh, let's see if it is nope you don't see it Just gonna set this right in the center, and I'm getting my. I just want to dab that little bit of glue so it doesn't stick to anything. Yep. Okay. Now we are gonna adhere our queen bee, and I'm just gonna put it. It's just gonna go in the middle. Not watching any comments I will I will go back again and check I got I was paying attention to what I was doing hmm. you know what I'm gonna put one more right in the middle just just to give it a little extra. <sighs> this bead does not want to be in my hands. And we're just going to put this just 
like that. And then when it folds, I don't know if you can see, it just, the black just really, it pops. I liked it. All right. And I did have a couple, oh, these are going to take a tiny bit of glue again. I'm really, I didn't think when I cut these out to, um, put the adhesive paper on the back, but I'm just putting it, scattering just a couple, just around. I'd cut out a few of these. And if I get too much glue, then it gets put on the side. I'm not going to use it. I cut extra out so I would have them. So I'm trying to line them up with the hive. They do they do actually line up perfectly with the hive. I do have one more, but I'm holding that one. All right, we're going to just, and the only other thing I wanted to do is I have my little bee, which I probably should have stamped first, but that's okay. He should be fine, or she. I'm going to call it a, a she since she has a flower on her. And we're just going to put her right like that. So she's very light, but that's okay. All right. And then I have a small piece, which is two inches by three and three and five eighths. And we're really going to hope I can get the sentiment straight. And I'm going to stamp it in Starry Sky. And I'm just stamping happy birthday. This is for the inside. And luckily, if I don't get it straight, the, oh. okay. Well, we're going to the second side anyway, because it didn't stamp. I had enough ink. Well, that's going to have to do. And we're really going to hope I get this one straight now. Not bad. We're just going to put this other hive on the bottom. And I forgot to cut the little bee out. So I'm going to have to do that later on. I meant to cut another one more bee to put on this hive. And I forgot to. That's okay. Alright, and I'm just going to Smooth the edges because that bothers me when it's, you can see the cut edge. And I'm just going to add a little liquid glue. 
and adhere this panel to the inside. Right like that. There you have it. This piece isn't fitting right for some reason. It's a little... I know I cut it right. Okay. Do the envelope real quick. And this is just another piece from... Um, these two panels, it's just an, another panel of it, the last piece of it. So I'm just going to add that to the envelope back. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Karen. Oops. There we go. Oh, boy. Let's just give this a quick trim. And I am going to stamp, I just need to clean it first real quick, the giant B on the front. I just want to clean the Versa mark off. Okay. I'm just going to stamp this on the front. I don't want to emboss it on the front. Crush curry, so it kind of matches the inside. My crush curry marker, and just color in the little heart on the bee's back. There you have it. It's a, I guess, double Z fold. Using the queen bee, the envelope to match. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, everything will be linked up on my blog on Friday, this Friday, creativestampadesigns.com. There'll be a link to the video. If you are interested in joining, I would love to have you on my team. Please feel free to reach out to me at creativestampadesigns at gmail.com. I'd love to talk to you and get you signed up. Now's a really great time to sign up. All right, thank you everyone for joining. I hope to see you next week. I'm hoping next week will be the normal 4 o'clock. I don't think this is going to be a regular thing that she's going to take the later train. I think she's just going to go in the morning and stay there. Right? Um, but I will post something whatever time I am going to be going live. All right? Thank you for joining, and I hope to see you next week. And I, if you do make this card, please... On Friday on my Facebook page in the comments, um, leave a comment with a picture, a picture of your card because I love to see what everybody makes. Right? Thanks, everyone. Hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.